Hello everyone! In this video, I will be sharing the newest feature of the COCO 7 release, which we call COCO Test Engine. We believe that this feature will greatly enhance the quality of your tests by generating test data to help you maximize code coverage. Before we start, let me give you a quick introduction to COCO. If you're already familiar with COCO and only want to learn about the new feature, feel free to skip this section. COCO is a cross-platform code coverage analysis toolchain. It provides a way to measure how much of your source code has been executed by your tests. With COCO, you can quickly identify untested code, redundant tests, and dead or unreachable code. COCO can enable code coverage analysis on your C, C++, C Sharp, and System C applications, as well as your Tickle and QML scripts. And it supports a wide range of platforms, hardware, and compilers. Using Coverage Browser, you can view the results of the code coverage analysis. It can provide an overview, given by statistics and metrics, and it can also show detailed explanations about which parts of the code were covered by each test. COCO not only measures the coverage of functions, lines, statements, and decisions, it also provides more in-depth analysis through condition coverage, MCDC, and MCC, making COCO well-suited for safety-critical industries. You can even use COCO to optimize the execution order of tests, locate bugs, and measure performance. With COCO Test Engine, we bring the testing capabilities of COCO one step further. COCO Test Engine is extremely useful when developing software for safety-critical industries that demand 100% code coverage. It gets you to the needed coverage level faster and helps you justify the remaining code. COCO Test Engine also helps with code refactoring, which can be expensive and risky. You can use it to capture the state of your application before refactoring the code base, and then verify that it behaves the same afterwards. For most software, the testing code base usually has to be bigger than the production code base in order to achieve very high code coverage. Human testers and developers often write tests based on usual test cases. This is normally enough to achieve even a high code coverage. However, when the code becomes too complex, the possible combinations of input parameters and the number of edge cases start to grow exponentially, and the last few percent of code coverage become very time-consuming and hard to achieve. With COCO Test Engine, we can get you through that final stretch. It can discover new test data that maximize code coverage by also covering edge cases and error cases that human testers could have easily missed. We do this by leveraging the code coverage analysis features of COCO with a newly introduced genetic algorithm. At every iteration, COCO Test Engine generates random inputs using numerical distributions or regular expression patterns. It also performs crossover and mutation of previously discovered test data to generate new inputs. This set of new inputs are executed, their corresponding outputs are recorded, and the resulting code coverage is measured. The algorithm then decides whether to keep the new test item based on whether it covers new parts of the source code. By doing so repeatedly several thousand times a second, we can obtain new test data that can complement the work of a human tester. Now let's have a look at Coco Test Engine in action. We first create a test target executable. It contains commands that read some input variables, invokes the function to be tested, and checks the output value of the function. Next, we create a configuration file that defines the variables and their generators. If we already know some interesting input values, we may also write a starting data file using the test data editor. Then we can call COCO Test Engine, which drives the target executable to discover new test data. We can see that after running test data discovery, 77 new test data rows have been found. COCO Test Engine was able to find a lot of new inputs, and it also records the outputs of the function for each set of inputs. Using the validation flag, the user can verify the correctness of the outputs and then commit this data file into their test suite. We can also view the resulting coverage data in Coverage Browser. We can see by looking at the execution pane that every discovered test item tries to cover different small sections of the code. This ranges from around 10% to 30% MCDC coverage. But by putting them together, they are able to achieve 86% coverage for this test alone. So just to conclude what we have seen, COCO Test Engine helps increase test coverage, discovers edge cases you could have missed, and speeds up the testing process. 
Cocoa Test Engine is now part of Cocoa version 7 and onwards. If you are already using Cocoa, consider upgrading to the latest version to make use of this powerful feature. More information on how to set up Cocoa Test Engine, with a more detailed look at the steps to reproduce this example, will be provided in another video linked in the description below. If you are new to Cocoa and want to try it out, a fully supported trial version is available at Qt.io. Thank you for watching.